Welcome guys. Today's video, we are over here in Singbury. We're a couple hours north of Bangkok, and I came over here to see what? Na Pra Tat, I think is how you say it. Anyway, this is a 14th century temple. It was supposedly built before the kingdom of Ayutthaya, before they settled the city in 1350. Uh, this temple is, uh, is saw some renovation over the years. It was being renovated whenever the Burmese came in in 1767 and sacked Ayutthaya. So any renovation that was going on was stopped obviously due to the war because the Burmese kind of looted and destroyed everything in this region before they got to Ayutthaya and sacked the city there. So uh, this was de dedicated as a national historical site in 1935. So they've uh, renovated a couple times and they've kind of restored the prong. So we'll take a look at it and we'll uh, see what it looks like. This is what the area looks like. It's got these trees. It's quite quiet. There's not a whole lot going on over here. There's a few things nearby. There's the reclining Buddha that isn't too far away. And I'll probably pin a comment to that video that I've done from that reclining Buddha. This is just a couple kilometers away from that. And I didn't even know it existed. I found it on Google Maps and uh, it's my kind of place. So I decided to come over here and see this today. So here is the old temple. You can see it's built on this little hill and then it has a wall, then it has some chetties. But what we're gonna see is that stupa right over there, that prong. And there's all the bases of these buildings out here. And you can see there's uh, not a whole left, lot left standing, just mainly uh, rubble. There's the, like the little onion towers or the spires that went on top of these chetties. So there were a bunch of chetties around here. There's three right here along this wall. And then there's these big ones here on the corners. And this looks like a huge hall. I don't know if this would have been an ordination hall or a wee hand. And then you have some more of the debris over there. So these are octagonal shaped. So these would have been built in the Ayutthaya era. Well, these are a square base, so it would have been a different style. You can see that's the plaster around the, the top of it. So that would have been like the lotus, and then it has the spire, and then the perimeter wall. And then just some more of the debris from the chetties. Now that's all, all that's out here is uh, the tall grass. Oh, that's a way cool picture right there. So you have this base of this hall, you see the little Buddha, and then you can see that prong. So let's go up in here. You have the stairs, and these would have been the, that would have been the corner, and this would have been the outer wall of this building. Oh yeah, this is great. So this would have been the high threshold here. So we would have came up, and then these would have been the columns supporting this roof. This would have been a fairly decent sized hall. And then that would have been where the main Buddha was at. That's a new Buddha that they've stuck in here. You can see that they've put a little bit of the plaster back on these. It's like two inches thick. And then there's that center prong. Right here would have been a seated Buddha, probably in that exact same posture. That's in, the, I believe, the subduing Mara. And there would have been more up in front of the little shrine here. Probably some more standing Buddhas around. And then it doesn't look like this hall would have had a back door. And then there is that prong. So this was renovated, I think in like the early 90s. They came in and fixed up all the little figures all the little giants and the angels and all those little, like little naga and everything else. And then it's just down to the bricks down here at the base. And I thought there might've been a back door back here, but there isn't. So this would have been just a porch, 
probably on the back. There would have probably been a standing Buddha here back behind, but there's nothing here now. We have a big tree growing in the corner here inside. And then there would have been a walkway over here. Nope, that would have been a wall. This would have been a wall around. And then a few more chetties out here. Okay, let's go look at that prong. And a couple more chetties and then the outer wall. So now they have a little soccer field next to it. Don't know how tall that wall would have been, but it would have been pretty nice looking. Oh, and there was the gate right there. And here's some laterite stones that they have. So I wonder what they use those for, because it looks like just regular bricks. Maybe the bottom of this prong where you can't see it has those stones. Yeah, this is really nice. This right here is why I came over here. Is I saw pictures of this prong and I really like stuff like this. Yeah, how cool is that? So there would have been a, a Buddha right there above the arch. And then now there's a standing Buddha here without a head. And you can walk up those little stairs maybe. I don't see a way up there, but there's stairs that go to it. And you can see how they would have had plaster down here around the base. There would have probably been figures and stuff down into it. Oh yeah, now there's just a bunch of pigeons up there. And that would have been a Garuda. You can see its arms spread. Yeah, that's great. So let's go up and look inside of this. Looks like people put a little offering there. And you can see these stairs come up. And then they have a little shrine inside of here. Looks like they've renovated up above there to replace that wood. Yeah, there's a little tiny Buddha inside of here. I don't know. Yeah, we just can see a little bit of the, the wood. So they would have had murals painted in this plaster, I'm sure. Now it's just bricks. Yeah, pretty nice. Kind of a cool view back towards that. So that looks like it's a wee hand. I wasn't sure if it was a wee hand or if it was an ordination hall. But I would say it's the Weehan and then the Obasote or the boat is on the other side. Looks like they're burning off some brush over there. Here's a little data plate. So it's saying it's Wat Na Pra Tat. It was formerly Wat Hua Muang or Wat Sisa Muang. And it has the prong and they say it was actually bigger than it is at one point. So the base and the body of the prong were once greater in height. So it has the Garudas and it has the Ashuras carrying truncheons. So that's, uh, must be the Ashuras right there on this corner, kind of next to that little arch. Yeah, this is a fantastic shrine. Oh, and then see what they've done? They have a base of a Buddha right there, or the body. And then you can see they've stuck a head on it. So you can see right there. They have the Buddha and then they've stuck like a head on it. It's kind of a little hard to see. And then that standing Buddha, that light's kind of playing on me. And right up there you can see those are the Garuda on the corner. And it must be the Ashura with the truncheons next to it. This is the building to the west of that prong. They have a banyan tree growing up on the wall. They have a bell in it. And then it has the ordination stone. So definitely this one is the Ubisote. And then there's the top of a, one of the bell chetties. And that chetty there was pretty decent size. And then this looks off into the temple itself. And then they have some of the Buddhas over here. And then let's look into this ordination hall. There's not much left of it. It's mainly down to the base but it's still pretty cool and a fantastic little view. So this would have been a small hall, probably had three windows across and then you can see the base of the Buddha here. That's all that's left. And then that little prong back behind. This is the top of the bell. And then that's a building over there. I'm not sure what they do in it. It looks like it might be locked up. And then the ordination stones. And then here was the, like another mound of a chetty. You can see some of the ruins, or the rubble here. Some of the stones 
that are here piled up, and then the Buddhas around this outer wall. And this is the working part of the temple. This guy over here pulling up some weeds. And then they have a, a Buddha underneath this building. Yeah, this is a nice hall. Has the dragons, has all of that. And then here's this seated Buddha. The hall is quite beautiful. It has this wood, the teak wood. They've stained it, made it really nice. So you can come here and burn the Joe sticks and make a little bit of merit. Now there's one more chetty. Let's go take a look at it. So over here in the trees, they have a this chetty. And it looks like there would have been a couple more around it. And then this would have been the base of another temple building. But now it's got a modern building built on top of it. And then they have these seated Buddhas around, the ones with the Naga. And this would have been another octagonal shape. So this would have been a, a later Ayutthaya style. So this wouldn't have been built when the temple was brand new. And this is around to the east here. They have some more seated Buddha. So I figured out what this is. This is actually just a classroom now. I see they have like a whiteboard, stuff like that inside. And then over here, this is a working temple. So these are the monk quarters. You can see there are those kind of Thai style houses that are made out of the teak wood. And you can see these are the monk quarters. Yeah, this temple looks like it's pretty prosperous. Usually these monk quarters are in pretty rough shape. And they have uh, like the showers and bathrooms, stuff like that. All right guys, that's gonna finish up a pretty quick video over here at this temple here in Singbury. This is really nice. I really enjoy stuff like this. Get out, you can climb around, you can look at all the old uh, buildings and stuff like that. I would really like to see it if they would have restored some of the, the halls there, if they'd have put maybe a roof or something like that back on the ordination hall or that wee hand. The prong itself is very, very cool. I really like that. That was the whole reason I came over here today. So hopefully you liked that. If you did, make sure you smash like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. That's what I do, I show you things I see, tell you a little bit about what I know. So if you like this kind of stuff, then uh, subscribe and stick around and then you're notified when I post a new video. And if you know anything more about it, I did quite a bit of research online. I couldn't find a whole lot. Most of it just talks about it predating IUTIA. So if you know a little bit more about it, let me know in a comment. If you've been here, tell me that also. Smash the like button. And if you have any questions or if you want me to see something, let me know also, and I'll try to do my best to make a video. So from Singbury, remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.